Prime Minister, in an interview this morning, made very clear she thinks that the plan set out at Chequers does respect all of the red lines she had laid down before. Can you agree with her on that much? Uh, no, I don't. Um, I think that uh, the European Court of Justice will have a role that is effectively the same as it has now over the common rule book, which isn't a common rule book, but the European Union's rule book, judged by the European Court of Justice. And it, if we don't follow it, we risk being penalised, which is the same position uh, as we're in today. Parliament, even now, could pass an act to say we weren't following a particular European Union rule. So, no, I don't think her red lines have been respected. And some of what she said was very interesting. Andrew Marr pushed her on when this decision about the common rule book was made, when they decided to have the EU's rules for the UK. And it seems it came into discussion a long time ago, but David Davis in the Dexu department wasn't told. And that's a very strange way to be running government. Yes, we've heard from um, Steve Baker, who resigned from that department as well. He's been saying this morning that, in fact, the department is a Potemkin-like structure and that they were kept in the dark. Well, we'll be talking to a minister from that department later, so we can put all of that to him. What I want to ask you is, the Prime Minister said the plan had changed a bit because what was originally proposed was non-negotiable. It had been made clear in Brussels they wouldn't accept it. So this is the only realistic alternative, isn't it? This seems to me a hopeless way to negotiate, that you accept what the other side, sa other side says at an early stage of the negotiations as holy writ. And we've done that the whole way through. The staging of negotiations was a mistake. We should never have agreed to that. In a negotiation, two sides say what they want. You don't just as one side say, oh, well, the EU said this, we must follow it. And I think Julia Hartley Brewer, in her comment earlier, got absolutely to the heart of this. And it came out at a briefing to MPs as well. The government unfortunately believes that Brexit is not a good thing in itself. It seems to think it has to be tempered with non-Brexit. And that was when the Prime Minister said people voted with their hearts and she was doing something with her head. In my view, and in the view of most Brexiteers, head and heart come together. Brexit is enormously positive, a huge opportunity for the country. And I'm afraid the Prime Minister doesn't see that. And it's why I think she is a Remainer who has remained a Remainer.